What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and today we are here to talk about the truth. Yes, the truth about hammock. If you don't know what hammock is, which I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, you do know what hammock is. It's this app where a bunch of eBay sellers, Macari sellers, Poshmark sellers, Amazon sellers, and any other kind of sellers, they're using this app to take pictures and Hammock is doing all the work for them. They're pretty much filling in all the listings and everything. This is not gonna be a Hammock tutorial because there are other Hammock tutorials out there, but Hammock is gaining a lot of traction and a lot of people have been saying, go to Hammock, go to Hammock, go to Hammock. And I'm here pretty much to tell you my personal opinion and the truth about hammock. So welcome to the video. My name is Dante. I've been selling on eBay for roughly about two years, Amazon roughly about three and a half years. Wow, I'm getting old, don't tell nobody. But yeah, I'm an eBay seller and when we're eBay sellers, we're always looking for things to help us manage our time and using our time wisely as well as saving money because we all know time is that money that we're trying to save. So with that being said, there's this app called Hammock. They called me probably around, it's been about 40 days or so ago, and see if I wanted to be a sponsorship. I had no information or no knowledge about sponsorships and things of that nature. I reached back to a friend a few months ago. I was like, hey man, I have a bunch of sponsorships hitting me up, and I used to decline all of them, guys. Um, I never took a sponsorship from anybody. I saw somebody else using this app. There was somebody I trusted. My friend flipped the world from Houston, I saw him using the hammock app, so I hit him up and I asked him some questions about the hammock app. He was like, yeah, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. It's helped his SEO score go up a lot on the eBay app and he's getting a lot more views because of the product descriptions that they're using. So I was like, okay, well, if you're using it, I will go ahead and give it a shot. So there are videos out there for you to be able to go out there and use the hammock app, but it is very easy. I'm not gonna say it is not hard at all. I think if you don't know how to use something the first time, it may be difficult, but after you use it, you're like, okay, well, that wasn't hard at all. But once I started learning the hammock app and I sent in my first few listings, I was like, okay, that was easy. In retrospect, all you're doing is taking pictures, cropping the pictures how you want them, and then you're sending them into the hammock. After that, you can enter certain product uh, details like description, if you need to let them know if there's something wrong with the box or an error or something that you need to be actually put in the description. Maybe you're doing clothes, sizes or something that you need to put in the description. Yeah, you can put all that in there. But for the most part, I literally take pictures and then send them to Hammock and they fill out all the information for me and it comes back. Now, let's go back to the truth about Hammock. I would love to sit here and sit here and tell you that Hammock is the best thing in the world and it's the best app. Everybody out there, go get it. Everybody should use it, everybody needs it. But that would not be the truth. The truth is simple and it's simple as this. Hammock is a good app, but it also is gonna take time for you to perfect the app to your liking. I will admittedly say that. In the beginning, I wanted to quit the app. The first few times I used it, I tried it. It just wasn't for me. Um, when you get your products back, you are dealing with VAs and pretty much VAs, these are like virtual assistants who are out in the world somewhere and they are creating listings and they're finding listings and they're filling out all these details to your listings. So you got to you got to think some of these people are from other countries. So sometimes they're not going to get the listings exactly how you want them. So the first time that my listings came back, I was highly disappointed. I'm not even going to lie. I immediately was like, you know, there's a lot of things that just didn't make sense. Some of the titles didn't make sense. Some of the descriptions, although they were filling in a lot of the key items that I never would have filled in myself. It was just a lot of, I don't use the word headache, but I'm going to, it was just a bunch of headache because I had to go back in a, in a lot of the listings and revise those things myself. So that's pretty much, I could have listed the listing in initially and saved that time. But they was like, look, give us another shot and we'll go through this. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to just crap on people and not give them another shot because they were for, they were up front with me and let me know how their service was run and let me know that it's still a work in progress. That was 40 something days ago. Now, let's rewind to what the time that we are now. I have gladly used Hammock for this past few 40 days <laughs> and it's definitely helped me in a lot of areas, especially when it comes to saving time. Cause to me, again, time is key. Now, obviously if you're doing DVDs and things that you can list really quick, that you really don't have to put too much information or effort into, you can list those items yourself. Sending those items into Hammock, I'm not gonna be, not gonna say it's a waste of time, but you can just do those really quick. Cause by the time you take the pictures, you can actually just send the listing, um, create the listing yourself. But there are certain items like VCRs, shoes, like I said, the vintage clothing that you want the title and the description to be so 
on point that it's going to get views by people barely typing in the things that, of the items that you're selling. So with Hammock, that's what they perfect. So there's a lot of times I will send listings and stuff in the hammock. Overnight, they will do my listings. Sometimes it's less than hours. I usually do mine at night. I usually send my listings in the hammock at night, wake up in the morning, and my listings are ready for me. After they're ready for me, all I do is literally review them. Hammock has been so accurate lately that there are items that I've sent in just to literally test of how they would price it versus to what I price it, and they have gotten it pretty much to the T by change, guys, like by literal change. So it's it does do good in that aspect. You can literally let them know all of the details that you want. You can download the WhatsApp and actually contact your virtual assistants. They are pretty much like your employees. You're using these people and you're letting them know how you want your listings to be done. So initially, like I said, the first time I sent my listings in, I really didn't have any direction for my virtual assistants. They really didn't know how I created my listings. So they just created the listings the best way that they knew how to at that point in time. Until I literally told them how I wanted my listings to be created. Simple, I want you to find A, B, or C, and then I want you to do X, Y, and Z. Simple as that. And they've been doing it for me so much better lately that honestly, I will recommend Hammock. And I will honestly say that now, because in the beginning, I wasn't going to do that, guys. Uh, I was gonna pretty much deny the sponsorship and be like, you know what, I just can't do it, and I can't promote something that I don't believe in. I am a firm believer in not promoting anything that you don't believe in for money, for anything like that. I mean, I am a firm believer in that, guys. I promise you that. So with that being said, Hammock is, is a good app. It will definitely help you if you want to save time on a lot of listings, keep in mind there are listings that if you send in a hammock, like DVDs, like I said, certain listings that are very quick, I would not recommend sending those items in the hammock. But anything else, yeah, there are time, there's items I'm like, you know what, I don't even feel like looking this up. I'll take pictures, send it in the hammock, and they will have everything filled out for me. Review all the items, review what, what they have them go through. You can automatically tell them how you want your shipping settings to be. You could tell them, just like you can literally have them a spreadsheet of things that you like on certain listings. Do you like free shipping? If something over two pounds, do you want them to do it like that? Break it all down for them and get your VAs to have the listings like you want it to and it will be so much easier. What I do is Hammock is like around a dollar and 40 something cents. We're gonna round up a dollar and 40 cents per listing. You can just literally, as you're out there sourcing, put that in your profits or your expenses, I'm sorry. Put that in your expenses as you're buying the item. You buy an item for $3, you know what? It's pretty much $4.50 because I'm gonna list an item using the Hammock app. So for me, it definitely saves time because they're getting you words and titles and descriptions and a lot of little details that you probably don't put in your listings yourself. A lot of us probably just go to sell similar, create that listing and then keep it like that. But when we do that, when we go to sell similar, sell similar kind of resets some of the listings so you don't have like all of the details that was in that previous listing that you just sold similar to. So Hammock fills in all those details for you. But if you have time on your hands and you don't need anybody doing stuff like that for you, obviously you do not need Hammock. But if you wanna save time, if you wanna be able to take pictures of your items, send them to somebody so they can do all the work for you and go to bed, go to sleep at night, wake up in the morning, have those listings done. You can go bowling. You can do whatever you want to do. You can do so much in the time that Hammock will be doing those listings for you that it's worth it when it's only a dollar and some change per listing when you look at it, the big picture. So yeah, that is my personal opinion on the Hammock app. And right now I don't have a, a code, so it's not like I'm saying go use my discount code, Prison of Profit or anything like that. Literally this is me making the video for you guys and being real. This is not a paid promotion video. This is me just putting the video out there and yeah, I told him I was gonna do it though. I told him I was gonna do a video like this, the truth about Hammock and yeah, it is what it is. I wanna be real and that's the only thing I can be. So yeah, if you want to use the Hammock app, I will put their information and I will leave a link in the description box for you guys so you can go check out Hammock and I will leave my man Chris's Flip the World, his link to ex exactly how you list items on Hammock if you have any questions when it comes to that. But any other questions when it comes to Hammock, leave me those questions in the comment section and I will answer those. I answer every comment all the time, guys. So yeah, any questions that you have about Hammock, please go ahead and answer those 
or <laughs> go ahead and answer. Go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. And that's it, guys. That's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much, Hammock, for all that you do for me, personally, getting my listings. Yeah, you do a good job for me now. Can't lie, really can't lie. And shout out to all the subscribers who come and watch my videos. And yeah, that's it. That's that's pretty much it, guys. That's the truth about Hammock, and I didn't sugarcoat it <laughs> at all. <laughs> I really didn't. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, that's how I feel. Like I said, in the beginning, I was gonna throw them away, but then after giving them a second chance, I said, yeah, the, I, I can rock with this. I can really rock with this. It saves time in a lot of areas. I mean, and, and that's what it's about to me. It saves time in a lot of areas when it comes to listing. Nobody likes listing. Every, you can take pictures or you can even hire you a photographer and they can take the pictures for you. But I'm just saying, so yeah. If you have a death pile or something like that, I take just spend a day taking a bunch of pictures and send them all to Hammock. Um, yeah, it is a monthly subscription of like $99 to start, but that $99 is literally coming out of your listing. So you'll give them a deposit of $99. Every time you list an item, they will take away from that $99, uh, that $99 that you are actually listing items for. So yeah, hope that makes sense. Anyways, yeah. So yeah, luckily this isn't a sponsorship video because I just screwed that all up. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And that is honestly the truth about Hammock. Make sure that you bless somebody today because I promise you I'm going to bless somebody tomorrow. At this point in time, your boy Tay is... So what's going on, guys? Yeah, uh, interrupting this video real quick because I want to give away $50. I want to give away a $50 gift card or something right now. Cash app, PayPal, something, some kind of $50 to you, to one of my subscribers because... Your boy won $1,000 from the very company that I was just talking about, Hammock. They had this competition where I had to go into a store and source for a lot of money. But if you're a frequent member of the channel, you've already seen that video where I went sourcing and they have already told me that I won. I didn't know how I wanted to do a giveaway because I knew as soon as I won $1,000 that I wanted to give money to you guys. So I'm gonna give $50 away to some of you guys. There you go, right there, $50 to somebody in this video and all you have to do if you want to win $50 is comment below I want $50 that is it just simply type I want $50 and then after that make sure you hashtag prison to profit because if you don't hashtag when I do the comment generator and I say hashtag prison to profit I won't know if you won or not, you're gonna be like, I put, I want $50, but you didn't put the hashtag. So make sure you put hashtag prison to profit so you can be entered in the competition. And then that way I actually know that you watch this part of the video. Cause some people will go straight to the comments and see, I want $50 and just put, I want $50, but they won't win because they didn't put hashtag prison to profit. So anyways, guys, that's it. That's it. All you have to do is that, I already said the rules. Yeah, that's it. I'm excited, guys. Maybe I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys because I want to pick a winner out of you guys. Thank you so much for watching the channel and everything and all that good stuff. Now I can go ahead and end this video and say, make sure that you bless somebody today because I promise you, I'm going to bless somebody tomorrow. At this point in time, your boy Tay is out. Thank you guys at Hammock.